Hello fellow guardians, this is Antilles Gaming here and today we are going to find secret rooms that hide the Leviathan's breath. Gotta say, this room basically as of now to get to it, it's kinda, it's kinda like the mountain in Destiny 1. It's easy to get into, but a little tiny bit of a challenge, mostly because of how everything handles. So, without further ado, let's get into how you exactly can get to this room. And I will also be showing whenever how you can get to this room when it's actually released because this is a quest area so i will also like i said i will also be showing how you get to this room once you know it's actually accessible to players okay so if you look right there that little gap yeah that's actually where the room is now there is a little vent that if you jump right there and you hop up you'll see a vent and you would think oh you could just go through there no nope. what you need first you need to do the flora's lava challenge if you're new to this uh like if you're new to destiny basically what the flora's lava challenge is you come up to this scrap right here and then you you hold x or whatever you're playing on and your character will glow red. You'll then see a light beacon shining either here, in the middle of the bridge, or up there. Once you get it, then you'll be able to jump extremely high and move a little faster. You will need this for this glitch. Now, you could also just wait for the full game to come out, but we're guardians. We don't like waiting. We want things now. Okay, so after you have the swiftness, the quickness, you want to get up onto these AC units. Okay, and you see where those gen those uh, AC units are up there? Okay, so you're going to want to jump up right here. Now, yes, that is supposed to happen. After, you'll end up in this area where the fans will be blowing you up and down and all that yeah so you want to just maneuver over each of those walls which you if you look you can actually see the path that leads to the room but yeah you want to jump over each of those walls until you finally land on this ledge this part right here it's not hard but it's and it's it can be a bit tricky for a few reasons just because sometimes my care the character doesn't want to actually grab on jump on to this pipe and what we want to do right on that ledge right there that's where we want to go once you're on this pipe make sure you're a good distance and then you jump up hurry up and run over here Trust me, you don't want to stand in that area too long or it'll start counting down to basically kill you. Then after, you just hop down. You can hop down here. Like, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so you hop down there or you can try to go up there and do it. Either way, you can. it's a good way to get up here. After, make sure you come right here to load the area. Because if you don't load the area, then it's it'll continue doing the glitch. So, now, you're in this area. And I also said that I would be showing y'all where exactly you will need to go when this area actually becomes unlockable in for the uh, quest. Sorry about that, got a few little hiccups. 
I'm pretty sure this is going to be self-explanatory. Yeah. See? You you can just come here. Ooh, you're new. You've never been here before. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure all y'all remember this area. Now, I'm sure some of you are asking, but Antilles, don't we, why would we waste our time going through a glitch area? Why don't we just go get into this area then go through the door? That is a good question, my dear viewer. I will show you why you cannot do that. Oh, it wore off. But yeah, I will show you why you can't do that. And that's why. Yeah, the area is blocked off at the moment. I don't know if that's going to be a permanent thing, but as of now, this area is blocked off to players. So now we're back in this room. You can play shopkeeper if you want. I I did a while back. Well, I did uh, last time I was here. Huh. It. I like uh, having a little fun. But anyway, after you're in this room, you then go this way. You can explore around here, but there's not really much to see back here. Where we want to go is right here. Just hop up on the box. Then you hop up right here. You follow this vent. Not gonna lie, this is probably the first time that I've actually got this on my first try. And then after you just follow this little path that reminds me a lot of Trevor. No, I'm serious. Like, just, just look at how this area looks. This, this place reminds me of Trevor. <laughs> I never want to see that robot again. But then after you just hop up on here, hop up on here, no, no, and there we go. If you do happen to fall, like, if just in case, I would go visit the other room, just in case, that way, if you do fall, you do have... You're kind of assured to spawn in this area. So yeah, you hop up right here, hop up on here, hop up on here, then we drop down, go up here, and boom! Leviathan's breath right there. I gotta say, I can't wait to get that bow. I gotta start, I gotta see if I can start doing the quest for it. But another thing about this area, let's say you're... You have a kind of a similar mindset to me. As you can see, this is the that is where we just were. We were right there. But let's just say you have a similar mindset to me. And I'm not that big a fan of Zavala. Personally, I look, I like Zavala. Like he's cool when he actually is a man of action. But after what happened to Cade, like how he didn't even want to take any type of revenge, that's just kind of where I kind of lost all hope in him. So yeah, if you feel the same way I do, well then, get a sniper rifle. He's right there. Right there for the pickings. I can just see the crosshairs. Yes, I can just see them. You will have your day. Uh, but yeah, uh, just a little news flash. Uh, uh, once you drop down right here, you you can hop back up, but you can't go back to the uh, other area by jumping back because one of the areas, like when you drop down the first time, the vent drops you down too far to be able to reach. But yeah, that is how you get into the secret area, and also how you can get into it when this area is actually unlockable to players. Uh, there's also this little area down here. Yeah, this is the vent I was telling you about. Like, because someone had pointed out that there was this vent, but here's the thing. You can't go back in. See? See? No, go back in. Yeah, so you can't just jump up here and then expect to try to climb through. It's not going to happen. But also, you get another vantage point. Just crouch right here. Put a, mount a sniper rifle right here. 
aim ever so gently. It's like, ugh, it's so easy. Yeah, and then you could just, if you want to get back into the common area, you can just hop that back down right there. But we're gonna go back. Let's see if it uh, puts us back where we want to go. See? Once you die, you just spawn back in here. Now, again, whenever you enter the door after you jump up from the glitch area, make sure you come over here. Because if you don't load the area, you're just going to drop right back down. Also, a th another thing I forgot to mention. When you're up there, like when you jump onto the uh, pipe and then jump up onto the beam and run over here, whatever you do, do not jump. It is instant death and you will start over. But yeah, like I said, it's much like the Destiny 1 mountain. But anyway, like I said, like I promised last week in uh, a Destiny group, that is how you get in here. Man, I gotta say, I'm loving the Destiny gear. Like the new gear. Wish I could keep that helmet, though. But anyway, that is how you do it. So, that is going to be it for this one. If you have any more tutorials that you want me to do, by all means, let me know, and I will see about doing them. But anyway... That is going to be it for this episode, so with all that being said, thanks all you so much for watching. If you like to subscribe, leave a like, and as always, please leave us a comment down below. Because your comments are the only way that I can improve on these. And if you want to chat me directly or check out updates on the channel, check me out on my Twitter and Instagram at Gaming. And with all that being said, me and my shiny rock will see you in the next episode.